So in this video, we're going to look at fixing our key fob for our Nissan Juke 2011. Now, I'm sure many of you will be like, oh, this is you know such a simple thing to do. Um, and maybe a pointless video, but this video isn't for you. This video is for those of you who send your key fobs off to garages or wherever um, to have a battery changed and be charged, you know, silly money. Now, I know some key fobs you can't get into. And so you can't afford um, paying, you know, the extortionate amount of money to get it fixed. But you can avoid it with this particular one. And it's just showing those of you who would normally just send it in how easy it is just to change the battery. And literally save yourself a, sh a lot of money. So as you can see, the fob doesn't work. So as you just saw, our Nissan Juke um, key fob isn't working. This is likely due to um, a dead battery. Now what you'll need is a CR1620 lithium battery. You'll need the key fob itself, obviously. You'll need some sort of lever tool. You can use uh, my small kitchen knife and a little screwdriver. I'm just going to go ahead. Unscrew the screw. There's only one screw in here. Just gonna unscrew that. And we're gonna take our lever. There's a little notch inside of the key here. It's a bit damaged on this one. Um, but yeah, there's a little notch. You just put your lever in there. Just pop it. Just just twist it slightly and it'll pop the um, casing off. As you can see. That's what it looks like inside. Just get over. In fact, I'll get this little plastic lever. And we shall just pop the. Oh, we had it then. Pop the battery out. So we'll place that there. And we get our new battery. And it literally just pushes in like that. And then. Making sure that everything is as it was. Just pop the case back on. Should just clip back together. Like so. And we'll put the screw back in. And that should. Now they're working. We'll go and test it out. So you can see, and here, as you can see in here, that now works.